Stage one, FTS is safe. Stage one, entry burn has started. Look at that plane. So three M1D engines reigniting. Burn is going to continue on for about another 18 or so seconds. So a little back-to-back -back action now as we see stage one coming back down towards Earth, stage two still making its way up into outer space. The dragon still nestled on top, getting ready. Stage one, entry burn, yeah. shutdown. And there's the end of that stage one stage shutdown. Two, okay, so stage one's gonna continue to coast its way down, using those grid fins for attitude control and steering. Next and in just under a minute. Yeah. That's right. It's coming up in about 10 seconds. Invex throttling now for Seco. Stage one is trans. And we have had a successful shutdown. Then back. All right. Stage one landing burn is supposed to start. At the start of that burn, stage one will be traveling at 275 meters per second. That single engine burn is going to bring that from 275 to zero. We did just hear that stage one landing burn has started. See if we get it. away from where it launched from. The vehicle will now undergo its safing procedures, and the recovery team will make sure it's strapped down and it'll make its way back to Earth. Or sorry, back to <laughs> Cape Canaveral. It's already on. So there's still a lot more to go here. Uh, we have Dragon Separation coming up. Let's go back to Tom Perdario to cover that next big milestone. Wow, what a landing uh, coming up very shortly in just about 20 seconds here. Uh, the Dragon spacecraft is going to be separating from the top of the Falcon 9 rocket. Separation should be occurring around 11 minutes and 5 seconds. Just about now. Let's wait for confirmation. Dragon, separation confirmed. And there it is. You're looking at a view from the top of the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. And uh, hard to make out in the uh, shadow of the Earth, but that is the Dragon 2 spacecraft uh, flying in space for the first time after a successful separation.